So you want to know how to get all the rewards from the Chapel of Scorn. Are you having trouble figuring out how to get the proper sacrifice? Well, I'm here to pass on my own tips off to you. There's a lot of information on the web on what variables are involved here and nobody seems to be super clear on the specifics so I thought I'd make a video so it can be a little bit more obvious. Since I struggled with this myself and had to test several suggestions, I think I finally feel like I have a guaranteed method. From what I can tell, these are the factors that without a doubt affect whether or not you will have a good sacrifice. First is your current morality. Second is the body size of your donation. Third is the health of your donation. And then how close to midnight is the sacrifice as well as how many evil points have you been awarded for the sacrifice. I have heard that it is possible to get all three rewards at once but if this is true it's rare and only would happen if you're pretty high on the side of good in your morality scale. In my experience you need three proper sacrifices in order to receive all three rewards from the chapel. So there's some things that don't matter I thought I would mention. Uh, first off, timing it with mercenary payments. People have said this all over the internet that this is how you can tell when it's the top of the hour and that's how you should time your sacrifice, but um, it doesn't work. Ignore that. Trying to start the sacrifice early so that it ends at midnight. This is something that I myself thought of and wasted a bunch of time on, like the idea was if I do the sacrifice at midnight and the cutscene plays, you can tell time goes on during the cutscene. At the end of that, now that it's 30 seconds past, did I mess it up? Like should I start early or what? That kind of thinking doesn't help. So just ignore that at all cost. Looking at the day-night compass also will not help you. Um, I thought that this would be a good way to determine midnight should be right in the middle of the night, but no, that's not really helpful. Um, it moves too slow, the gap is too big, there's too much of a chance for you to mess it up. Other people have made videos on Swarm's Bow where they get a hold of it before the Wasp Menace mission. And this method includes using the small bodied mercenary from Oakvale, uh, offering him at midnight on a Saturday to achieve a perfect sacrifice. Now, the fact that they're able to get that with a small body donation tells me Saturday does help. And I've seen other people say Sunday instead, but Honestly, in my experience, it's an unnecessary step. It is kind of overkill and honestly a waste of time and energy to try to get this legendary weapon so early in the game when it's already so easily accessible after you've killed Twinblade, which is only the first boss right after the Wasp Queen. It's still very early in the game. So just have a little patience. The Oak and Ebony bows should work well up until then, especially if you upgrade your accuracy. So without further ado, here are my 10 foolproof steps to unlocking Squirm's Bow, the de-aging gift, and the title of Necromancer. Step 1. Beat Twinblade. Get to this point in the story so that you have access to the mercenary in Twinblade's camp. Um, this guy is large strong, healthy, he's not a small little noodle arm guy like the one in Oakvale, and it definitely helps. Step two, don't be too evil. Some people say that you have to be good, or at least neutral. Um, this is not true, as long as you are not more than one bar deep into your evil scale, you should be able to get Scorn's Bow. Um, just probably not anything else. 
at least not until you get a bunch more good points. Um, you can do that by either going to the Temple of Avo, waiting a little bit till that's unlocked, or um, doing some other side quests, killing some people on the roads. Um, you'll need to be able to get at least 200 evil points to receive a gift. Starting neutral should get you all three. Being one bar deep in evil, you should be able to get Swarm's Bow. You'll struggle to get anything else. The more evil you are, the harder it is to earn enough points to earn a reward at all. It feels like there's a resistance there. There'll be a point where you can't get more than like 100 points or even less than that with the most perfect donation you could possibly give. So, step three, travel to Swarm's Chapel. So at this point, you've done everything, gotten to this point, made sure you're not too evil to uh, miss the rewards. You're going to go there and teleport, step four, teleport to Twin Blades Camp. Hire the Merc there and sleep if it's day or past midnight. Step five, you're going to recall, teleport back to Squirm's Chapel and save the game a few moments before midnight. Wait until the arrow has just been cleared and is fully encapsulated with the night. You want to give yourself a little bit of time because you're going to save just in case it doesn't work because it is a little random. Even if you have the most perfect sacrifice possible, there's been times where, for whatever reason, they consider it a pathetic donation, and it's not enough. So, save the game before, so you can retry if that happens. Now, step six, this is really important for the timing, you're going to wait until you hear lights out, you horrible lot. Some random guy who you can't see is going to just scream it out in the background. And that's the timing when you know it's midnight. You want to hit the button immediately when he says that. Like if you can hit it when he says the word out on lights, do that. Don't wait until he's done talking. Immediately offer your donation and step seven, do not skip the cutscenes. Uh, this is also important for the timing. If you skip the cutscenes, it's not going to give you a good donation. There's something, something with that there. I, I can't explain it. Just hit the A button at lights out, you horrible lot, and do not skip the cutscenes. And that timing should give you a proper sacrifice. So, step eight. You should receive a positive message along with 200 to 600 evil points and one of the rewards. Step nine, repeat steps four to seven two more times. Um, the only thing is you will have to run around the forest a bit, maybe sleep a few days, um, pass some time and try to get the mercenary at Twin Blades camp to respawn because he's not going to respawn right away. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's, it's kind of annoying, but once you get through it, it's worth it. Step 10, you should now be extremely evil with wielding Squirm's Bow and the title of Necromancer, leaving the Darkwood about five to 10 years younger. Um, in my experience, the second gift is going to be uh, a couple years taken off of your life in a good way. It's going to make you younger. Um, 10 at the max if you're lucky. It's usually around like 5 to 7. Your contributions have earned you the gift of extended life. Scorm grants you your last years. And that should be it. So I hope this helped somebody out there who's struggling with this because I know this pissed me off a lot and wasted a whole bunch of my time. So um, I hope I've made this more clear. I don't think 
there are like some other videos on this um, but I don't know I don't, I don't think I've seen anybody um, really explain all the steps you want to go through for this anyway thank you guys for watching I appreciate you very much if you liked this video please leave a like and a comment and help the channel grow I'm still pretty small here just breaking 300 subscribers right now so it's very much appreciated and uh, hey if you like fable why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, I'm going to be playing all the way through 100% complete on fable the lost chapters and that's going to be on streams basically every night around 8 to 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So I hope to see you guys there. I'm really hoping to grow my community and uh, get some fun conversations in the chat. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Generous to me.